spears that they thrust into the side of 2,000 and 3,000 pound animals. The Neanderthals survived the harsh conditions in Europe for at least 300,000 years. Then, around 40,000 years ago, a different human species arrives on the scene. Our species, Homo sapiens. They migrated from Africa, spreading across Neanderthal territory, outnumbering them 10 to 1. Suddenly you've got two species competing for the same resources, hunting the same animals, collecting the same plant resources, wanting to live in the best territories uh, and the best caves. After another 10,000 years, the Neanderthals disappear. The story of the Neanderthals is a murder mystery. They were there and now they're gone. And they go away at about the same time as we are showing up on the scene. So why did they vanish while we survived? For years, many scientists believed we wiped them out. A simple case of our brain outclassing their brawn. This theory emerged when archaeologists unearthed the very first Neanderthal skulls over 150 years ago. To scientists at the time, skulls like these looked primitive compared to ours. Chris Stringer is one of the world's preeminent Neanderthal experts. We can tell a Neanderthal skull 100% of the time. We've got a very broad skull. This double arch brow ridge, and perhaps their most distinctive feature, the middle of the face is pulled forwards, the cheekbones are swept back. One influential discovery featured a skeleton crippled by acute arthritis, incorrectly reconstructed with a hunched posture and a shuffling walk. This early find helped shape popular perceptions of Neanderthals for decades. 